Hello, Blizzard. I'm Jonathan White here with Jeremy Miner and Louise Parra. We are graduate-level students at Academy of Art University in San Francisco, California, with a passion for Blizzard games as well as games in general. We also have a very strong interest in the Blizzard internship for summer of 2010. We have began creation of a multiplayer game which pretends to be Team Fortress 2 using combat tanks of all shapes and sizes instead of people. Tank Assault, which pays homage to the vehicle combat in Command and Conquer Renegade and Battle Tanks Global Assault for the Nintendo 64, is hopefully going to be one day more than an impressive portfolio piece offering fast-paced team gameplay with a variety of game modes, maps to play on, and tanks to choose from, each with their own stats and special abilities. I got the idea of Tank Assault while reminiscing on some old games I used to play when I was younger, such as Battle Tanks Global Assault. I remember immensely enjoying the fast-paced gameplay and understood that, if treated properly, it would have made an excellent online multiplayer game experience, which hosted larger battles than just four players and a range of improved game modes to play. Taking a healthy dose of realism and tossing it out the window, we're trying to create a game which is simply going to fit the bill of fun, while offering a rewarding, tactical team-based gameplay in which players return again and again due to tactical, map, and gameplay depth. Please keep in mind that this is an alpha version of Tank Assault, so nothing you're going to see here today is final. There is still a lot of work to be done in almost all areas, and we are all very well aware of this. The Tank Assault project began in November 2009, so unfortunately we have not had the desired amount of time or concentration that Tank Assault deserves. Despite that, we've got an excellent modeling work and some programming efforts by Jeremy Miner and Louise Parra, respectively, and a few additional people either awaiting phases of the project to begin helping, or our word for them to come to our team. My name is Luis Parra and I do the vast majority of the programming side on Tank Assault, while learning Unity and a scripting language and gaining an understanding of the vision of this game, I have come across numerous challenges solved through handwork, persistence and research. One of the most persistent challenges for myself is the physics surrounding the game world and the tank themselves. Getting the tanks to a semi-realistic state in terms of weight, speed, friction and the gravity of the world is always a challenge. I'm always researching websites and looking for efficient solutions to our problems to ensure the gameplay is on the right track. In addition, I'm always looking for new and better ways to streamline the process of coding, how to Unity handles the coding and other efficient ways to combine both art, design and decoding. Each of us involved in Tank Assault has had some unique opportunities to test our skills in terms of design, art, and coding. While each of us take the lead in a specific role, we often suggest ideas or help each other. The ideas for Tank Assault are born from a variety of sources rather than an individual. Although the initial ideas were indeed mine, I'm not attached to them and I'm willing to make changes so long as depth and fun remain intact. The ideas are constantly evolving to fit the needs of the game. One example of this is on the M1A3, the tank which most resembles a realistic tank modeled after the M1A2. While in control of this vehicle, if the player left clicks the main cannon fires a standard ordnance. A player may also right click for their secondary ability, of three abilities total, to fire a powerful rocket attack which flies in a straight line. This rocket pod was initially attached to the right side of the turret. While Jeremy was hard at work modeling the M1A3 for tank assault, it dawned on me that players making a left turn would have an advantage as the rocket pod would stick out further along if they were turning their turret into the left turn. Players making a right turn would have to pull their tank out further to fire their rocket. To solve this discrepancy, we divided the single rocket pod to fire two rockets at half their damage on either side of the turret with two rocket pods. With this change, no matter which way a player was turning, they would have to pull out the same distance as their opponent. My name is Jeremy Miner, and I'm the one working on taking a lot of our design ideas and implementing them into the 3D world that is Tank Assault. For our first tank, we decided on taking a known tank and making a few modifications so it would reflect better the theme we were going for in the game. The tank went through several stages until everyone was happy with the design. I started with orthographic of the M1A2, and once I had the details I felt helped push the model, without creating too many polys, I moved on to the modifications. I created different looks for the missile pods, and after some talking, we came up with the current design. My main concern once the design was finished was how I would manage the tread animation. My first move was to create a low and high poly single link and animate the low poly using the high for a normal map. I decided even with the low poly links, the amount of polys it created was still very high. My solution was to create a low poly single object and animate the texture. 
This way I would be able to create transparency and normal maps, which will appear as if the tread is much more detailed than it really is. The end result was me being able to add more detailed polys to the main body of the tank, creating a sleeker look as well as a better optimized game. We earnestly hope you consider us for your internship program. We are not only good friends, but we work well together and are always anxious to learn. If you're interested in the development of Tank Assault, you can check out our progress at any time at www.tankassault.blogspot.com. Thank you for your time, and thank you for watching this video.